Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Preeti here. Today I am going to explain to you about another problem in HEP network. Let's get started. So first I will explain to you the algorithm, training algorithm of HEP network. So training algorithm like, uh, goes like this. The first we need to initialize the weights and bias. Initially all the weights and bias are set to zero or some any random value. And for each input and training input and output pair, we have to perform the steps two to four. First we need to initialize the input units. Xi is equal to Si. That is we need to set the activation. And again the third step we need to set the output units. Y is equal to T. Set the activation. In the fourth step we are supposed to update the weights. Update the weights is nothing but new weights will be equal to old weights plus xi into y and for the bias new weights new bias weight will be equal to old bias weight plus y okay so this is the steps we need to perform from 2 to 4 until we have training input output pair so this is the training algorithm for the hep network so let's get into this video so in this problem they have given here design and hep network find the weights required to perform the classification of the given input pattern so they have given the two patterns over here and which is represented by plus and dot. So the pattern is shown in a 3 by 3 matrix form in the squares. The plus symbol represent the value 1 and the empty squares represent minus 1. Consider L belongs to the members of the class so the target value is 1 and U does not belong to the members of the class so the target value is 0. So this is what the pattern they have given. We need to classify using the HEP network. So in this, from this particular pattern they have given for you, you need to form the inputs. So how I am going to form is that if you have a plus symbol, I have to represent as 1. If I have a dot symbol, I have to represent as minus 1. So in the problem itself, they have told that this L belongs to the member. So the target value will be 1 for this. Okay. And for the, this U does not belong to the member. So the target value will be 0 or minus 1. Okay. So this is what they have given in the problem. So let's, uh, let's substitute these plus and minus 1 in this tabular column. So in this tabular column, we say that pattern L and U. So x1, so since you have 9 inputs over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 inputs here. So I have given here the inputs from x1 to x9, the target value y. So let's substitute this first. So this will be 1, minus 1, minus 1. You have to go in row wise. So 1, minus 1, minus 1. 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1. So these are all the inputs for the first pair. It will be 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1 and 1. Okay. And the they have given the target value will be 1 for this. Okay. I am substituting here as 1. For the second input pattern, it will be 1, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1. 1 1 1 okay let's substitute here 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 then again 1 1 1 so the target value will be minus 1 so this is what the the tabla column we have received by uh, with the help of the pattern they have given so we have formed this tabla column okay so first step in head network is first I am going to initialize all the weights and bias to be zero. Since there are nine inputs, there will be nine weights associated with all the links. So I am going to initialize all the weights to zero and bias also to be zero. Now I am going to form a tabular column like this. So it looks simpler only, it's very easier. See, I have drawn this input inputs over here. Since there are, I have nine inputs, I have I have given here x1 to x9 inputs and apart from that I also have one bias and I have one the target value that is called y and I have to give the weight changes that is del w1 del w2 etc up to del w9 this is the weight changes so here I don't have space so I am drawing it over here and you have the new weights new weights will be from w1 to w9 along with b so we will find out the values and find out the final weights and bias for this problem okay so first i am going to substitute all the input patterns there are two input pairs over here one is this one that is like one minus one minus one one minus one minus one 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 
so that I'm substituting over here. The next is the second input pattern 1 minus 1, 1, 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So I'm substituting both the input patterns and then I'm substituting here the bias values and again the target value 1 and minus 1. So now we will substitute, we will find out the values for the weight changes and the new weights. So what is del W1? Del W1 is nothing but x1 into y. x1 into y will be 1 into 1 is 1 x2 into y that will be minus 1 x3 into y here it is minus 1 and here it is y it will be minus 1 and x4 into y is 1 into 1 will be 1 x5 into y is minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 x6 into y x into y 6 into y is minus 1 into 1 will be minus 1 x7 into y x7 into y is 1 into 1 it will be 1 x8 into y that is x8 is 1 here 1 into 1 is 1 x9 into y x9 into y is 1 and del b is nothing but y so simply y i have to write okay so now i have finished this weight changes so i have to go for the new weights now so what is new weight new weight will be equal to old weight plus change in weights okay old weight plus change in weights old weights i have substituted all the values to be zero so that will be zero old weight plus del w1 del w1 is one so the answer will be one here W2 will be W2 old plus del W2. W2 old is 0. Del W2 is minus 1. So that will be minus 1. Okay. So W3 old plus del W3. W3 old is 0. Del W3 is minus 1. So you will get again minus 1. So W4 is W4 old plus del W4. It will be 0 plus del W4 is 1 here. So the answer will be 1. Here W5 is W5 old plus del W5. W5 old is 0 and del W5 is here it will be minus 1. Okay. The answer will be minus 1. And 6 will be W6 old plus del W6. 0 plus del W6 is minus 1. Answer will be minus 1 here. And W7 is 0. Del W7 is 1. So the answer is 1. W8 is 0. Del W8 is 1 here. So it will be 1. W9 is 0. Del W9 is 1. So the answer is 1. B old is 0. Del B is 1. So the answer is 1 here. So now we have finished with one input pair. Now we are going to present the second input pair to the network. So when we substitute second input pair, we have to find out the weight changes and the new weights. So what will be the weight changes? It will be x1. x1 is here it is 1 and y will be here it is minus 1. So the answer is minus 1. X, del W2 is x2 into y. It is nothing but minus 1 into minus 1. Answer is 1 x3 into y 1 into minus 1 it is minus 1 x4 into y 1 into minus 1 it will be minus 1 x5 into y minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 x6 into y 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 x7 into y 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 x8 into y 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 x9 into y it will be 1 into minus 1. It is again minus 1. Del B is nothing but Y. What is the Y value? Minus 1. So we have got this, the, this new weights. Okay. This is the weight changes. Now we have to find out the new weights. What is new weight? New weight will be equal to old weight plus change in weights. Now the old weight is this weight you have to take. So it will be 1 plus. What is del W1? Del W1 in the previous section we have got del W1 as minus 1 here. So it will be 1 plus minus 1. Okay. 1 plus minus 1 it will be 0. Next is W2 will be old weight is minus 1 plus change in W2. Okay. What is W2? You have got 1. It will be again 0. Here old weight is minus 1 plus del W3 will be minus 1. So the answer will be minus 2. And here W4 old weight is 1. And del W4 is minus 1. So the answer is 0. So now old weight is minus 1. And del W5 is 1. So it will be 0 again. Okay. So here the old weight is minus 1. And del W6 will be minus 1. So the answer is minus 2. So you can round it off. So that you can understood clearly. And here it is. Y 
1 and del w7 is minus del w7 is minus 1 okay so the answer is 0 again here it is 1 and del w8 is minus 1 okay so the answer is 0 so here it is 1 del w9 is minus 1 okay so the answer is 0 and b is del uh, old old bias weight is 1 and uh, change in bias weight is minus 1 answer is 0 so this is what the new weights you have got after presenting the two inputs 0 0 minus 2 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 0 so we will check whether this new weight is uh, it, it gives you the correct output or not okay so the final weights we have obtained from hep network is 0 0 minus 2 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 and bias weight is 0 this is what we have obtained over here it is 0 0 minus 2 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 and the bias weight okay i am writing it over here okay so now i can draw the the hep diagram so in this x1 to x9 x1 x1 to x9 are the inputs so i am giving here the inputs as x1 to x9 and i'm going to connect this all these inputs to y input that is with the weights 0 0 so the weights is over here is 0 0 minus 2 so 0 0 minus 2 0 0 minus 2 0 0 0 and this is the bias weight which is set to 1 over here the bias weight is 0 so i am going to get y so now i have to check whether the output what i have received is correct or not so i first i i, I can check this with the help of the same formula y will be equal to x1 w1 plus x2 w2 etc up to x9 w9 plus v so this is the formula for calculating your y okay we all know so what i have to do is that first i have to substitute the first set of input pair what is the first set of input pair in this diagram what is the first set of input pair this is nothing but this one 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 1 1 1 okay so this is the first set of input pair so i am writing the first set of input pair and I am going to substitute the values over here and along with the weights I am going, I'm going to check this. So y will be equal to 1 x1 is 1 into w1 will be what is the w1 value here it is 0. So 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into 0 minus 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into 0 1 into 0 then 1 into 0 uh, then you have your bias weight to 0 so when you substitute this so here you have minus minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 here you have minus 1 into minus 2 you are getting plus 2 the answer is 4 that is nothing but a positive value you can check with this output so when you present this set, first set of input output value you should get a positive value so what i have got i have got a positive value it's a 4 it's a positive value so then it is correct now I check for the second set of input pair. What is the second set of input pair? It is 1 minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is what the second set of input pair. 1 minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. I am going to write it over here. And the bias is 0. So now I substitute with this to the same formula. I will get 1 into 0 plus minus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 2. 1 into 0 minus 1 into 0 1 into minus 2 plus 1 into 0 1 into 0 1 into 0 plus bias weight so when i substitute here this will be minus 2 and this value will be minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 you are getting minus 4 so it is a negative value so when you present the second set of input pair you are getting a negative value so the same thing second set of input pair you are getting a negative value when you are presenting the first set of input pair you are getting your positive value then whatever the output you have received is correct that means you have trained the algorithm trained the network and you found out the best result for this network so whenever whatever the input pattern it gives it will go and multiply with this weights and you will get the corresponding output okay this is how you have to solve your head network so any algorithm is given for you for doing the classification first you have to write down in terms of plus and minus one and you have to write the uh, the y whether it is target is plus one or minus one and then you have to find out the weight changes and correspondingly you have to find out the new weights and the final weights will be considered considered as the weights which you have received for the second set of input pair and then you can substitute here and you can find out whether the the weights you have received is correct or not by using this formula okay thank you for watching